Mira. <risa> as important as to have a car. Like, I don't have a car because I have this. If you have children, so you put your children here, or the cello of my daughter, I put it there, or the groceries. It's a city with 40% of the population who own cars, only 40%, so it's, it's the way to get around. That's why we have so many cargo bikes. This is our SUV, um, and you know, I have two kids, I use my cargo bike to get them around. It's practical, I have to. Families with two kids in Copenhagen, 25% of these families have or have been owning a cargo bike. So it's, it's a lot of people. It's, it's serious in Copenhagen. It's, it's not just for fun or for, for the nerdy people. This is transportation. That's amazing. We have one in the bag as well. <laughs> Wait, way back here. Oh my goodness. Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Copenhagen. This is my cargo bike. Uh, I use it to drive my girlfriend around. She's crazy about it. It's absolutely wonderful. I use it to, uh, to taxi around people in Copenhagen at night. It's extremely comfortable. I feel very safe. It's very sturdy. Uh, lots of leg room. And it's also very comfortable because he's got this great cushion. He said it's an old mattress, but it feels very luxurious to me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. We're producing this, uh, the cargo bike, the Bullet. Um, we started two and a half years ago uh, selling the bikes. And so far, I guess we've been selling, yeah, 500 bikes. This white bike is my wife's bike. And uh, she's really looking good riding this bike. And, and that's a major part of riding the bike. That is impressive. Before I came to Denmark to live, I sold my car in Mexico. And for the same money, I got this bike. And it has changed the way I, I move. I use it every day. There's kids out in the summer here today. You know, they'll, they'll buy a whole bunch of cheap bottles of water and fill up their mom's cargo bike with ice and stand out there selling it for 10 kroner. We have the cocktail bike. You can send a text message to this guy and he'll come out with, uh, with mojitos and uh, strawberry daiquiris uh, um, in thermoses for you. We, uh, you. There's a newspaper bike selling uh, tourists, you know, foreign newspaper. Uh, the crepes bike where people will make their pancakes for you. Whatever you want, everything. And it's just exploded. And this is one of the thing that, things that I love about Copenhagen is that we're, we're thinking new about bikes. What else, how else can we implement bikes into the city? Wow. I was a carpenter before I started to produce bikes. For 15 years, I only used cargo bikes for transportation. Logistically, it was perfect. I was the first guy out there. I was the first guy home. And I was the guy with the longest vacation for the summertime because I didn't have to pay for the van. It's faster, it gives you a lot of independence. And I also think it's because you also do exercise. <laughs> so at the same time, instead of going to a fitness, you ride your bike and you stay in shape. All set. Ooh, now we're going to race. I'm so proud of uh, Copenhagen and things going on like today's cargo bike relay race. What was it like to be on the car? I think it was extremely fun, but uh, a bit tough, you know, I actually had that taste of blood in my mouth. I always had this vision about, I sold a, a cargo bike to a zoo and I just had this vision about all this elephant shit <laughs> that they have to carry in the cargo bike. Uh, <laughs>